Thank you very much, Minister Magnet, Monsieur le Président, uh, Commissioner Hedegaard, dear Connie, ladies and gentlemen. I think uh, both previous speakers, Minister Magnet and also Commissioner Hedegaard, have clearly set the tone. The question is not, is climate change important? The question is, what do we do about it? So the time really goes from speaking to doing. I come with three great news this afternoon. The first news is the technology, and Minister Magnet, you mentioned the important role of technology in this. The technology is basically there today to cope with a two-degree challenge. So it's a matter of rolling it out and of using it. The second good news is the markets are there. The markets are clearly there. Let me just give you some figures of infrastructure investments that cities plan to do. Of course, also a lot of that in green and environmental technology. So London will invest 130 billion US dollars in their infrastructure. Atlanta, 90. So very, very big figures, and I'm not even talking about the Chinese cities. Cities, by the way, are absolutely important markets. They account for 60% of the global water demand, 75% of the global energy demand, and 80% of the greenhouse gas emissions. So the, the battle of climate change clearly is either won, and yes, won, hopefully, or lost in cities. So cities is absolutely important. So technologies are there, the market is there, and the financial community is supporting it. And many companies are offering performance contracting. So it's basically a model where the company invests in the savings of a third party, and with the energy savings, the payback can be done. So these models exist today. So technology is there, markets are there, and the financial community is there. So basically, here we are. What does it mean for Siemens from a company perspective? In 2010, the revenues from our environmental portfolio, the environmental portfolio is really the scope of our green technology. So it's on one hand the renewables, so wind and solar. It's anything that has to do with energy efficiency in buildings, uh, for instance. Uh, but it also has to do with environmental technology, so for instance, water technology. So these three technologies make up our environmental portfolio. The revenues is 28 billion euros. The total revenue of Siemens, 77. So it's a very important part today of our business. That's one good news for our shareholder. But for us, as people, we are also interested in our planet. And uh, that's the second uh, important part. With this revenue, our customers are able to reduce CO2 with what they have bought from us in 2010 by 270 uh, megatons. So that's a fantastic uh, figure. It's 28% of the yearly output of Germany. Mm. Huge. Uh, so it's a very good business for us, but it's also a good business for us as people and, of course, for our planet. So what are we doing? We want to continue to roll that out, and we just set a quite ambitious target, I have to say, to achieve 40 billion euro revenue with this portfolio by 2014. So it's not that far away. <laughs> and when you relate the 40 to the 77, based on today revenue, it's more than half of our company. Of course, also the CO2 abatement will follow accordingly. <laughs> But what we also need to do and what we're working on, we call it walk the talk. So we do also a lot of investment, over 100 million euros in our own manufacturing, to also use our own technology, to also show our customers, by the way, show our employees, show ourselves what we can do. We have so far uh, worked on 100 of our plants. We did the energy analysis and then also did investments and improvements, and in general, it's probably around 15%, depending on exactly what manufacturing it is, that one can achieve. We have also decided to use and offer this concept, which we have developed in-house now, to our suppliers. And we just have announced that about four weeks ago. So we have about 90,000 suppliers today, all around the world. We offer it this model in different stages, so to speak. So. Uh, 
uh, large companies, very energy inefficient companies can use basically our own consulting. So we do it with real teams from us. But we're also working on deploying a kind of a Google uh, system where maybe smaller suppliers or suppliers that don't want to invest so much, they can basically make their own check. Uh, so we also deploy this uh, to our suppliers. So for us, it's not just important to use it as a business opportunity, but it's also important to do this internally and ensure that our suppliers are better. So our plan is quite clear, continue to sell, continue to show and deploy the solutions. What is important for us, and I think there are at the moment a lot of discussions, and I also recently attended a meeting in Mexico City for the preparation of Cancun. At the moment, it's a little bit of discussion of who is in charge. Is it the politicians or is it the business people? Uh, I truly think we both have to do our part in a responsible way. I think the set plan that we have and you have here is very important. It's an important step. But on the other hand, when I look at the investments today in China, but also in the US, the set plan will not be enough. Europe today is the leader in the world in environmental technologies. We are up to stage, but also we are under heavy attack simply because the Chinese want to have this space. Mm -hmm. The US is investing a lot in many in, in these areas. So just to continue as we have done in the past will not ensure mm -hmm. that we will be the, the leader in the future. So for the European Union and for Europe, it's absolutely key here to have the right frameworks, to have the right policies in place, to have the right cooperation between the political environment and the businesses and the key business leaders in order just to ensure that Europe keep, keeps its number one position in this promising and attractive new market of the environmental technologies. What I see here is I think there could be more dialogue between politicians and the business environment. I'm, for instance, not exactly sure if some of the business leaders really know the technologies that are there and the full scope of technologies, and actually what can already be done today with the technologies, also what conditions should be there to even speed up the rollout further. So I think this dialogue could be enhanced. But overall, I think from the company perspective, quite clear. I come here with good news, because it starts with the technology. If the technology is not there, we can have a lot of panel discussions, we can have a lot of financial uh, solutions uh, at work, we can have a lot of needs, but we will not be able to solve it. The technology is here, and my sort of wish and intent is clearly to make sure that we roll it out in order to have a better planet, to have better business, of course, for the companies, but also to ensure the number one and the leading position that Europe has in this space. Thank you very much. <laughs>